uh, the simplest little things like let's catch the bus and go over to MGM becomes a major war deal. Mm -hmm. uh, oh, I'm sorry, we can't get that many kids in wheelchairs on the monorail. Okay, we'll take three trips. And right. while Disney World does have a lot of wheelchair oh, they are, access... they I are mean, better equipped than anybody. There's some things so. that some of the kids in wheelchairs just can't do. Yeah. I mean, it's just it's hard for some of them. It's so we get, we get over to the transportation station. Okay, let's uh, walk down to the buses and, and uh, get on the uh, MGM bus. And once again, you know, with the buses are equipped, equipped to take two, and they already had one, and we've got three. So it's three trips by bus yeah. to MGM. We left the hotel at 1030. We got on our first ride at 1 o'clock in the afternoon, and that's what these parents go through every day. We get to go home, and everything moves quick again, you know. But for these parents, this is the way it is. Uh, this is their life, and that's just one of the many, many challenges that these uh, families have to go through. And it's, uh, it's really cool to be able to spend this time with them to have to remember back when she was first born and I mean I know I cried every day I mean I was a mess thinking what did I do and what was it that caused her to be the one that was you know ill and it's like you try to help them to understand and to explain that you know it's not always going to be bad it's going to be great and there are times like this when you don't even have to think about being sick and you can just enjoy yourself you know and and the kids themselves I think they're having a better time than anybody a sad child a lot of times and he seems angry with his life a lot of times and he's been happy here so it means a lot to me she's like i want to stay here and i said we can't we have to go home she said mickey will be my daddy and minnie will be my mommy they'll take care of me i said no they can't <laughs> But she's really excited. She didn't want to leave. She said, I don't want the doctors no more. I said, well, we have to go back. <laughs> we have to face reality now. It's time for you to go back to school, me to go back to work, and we have to deal with life. Outside of something like this, where he can just let go and have fun and not worry about what's being said and how it's being done and if it's being done the right way, you know, he's had nights where he's broken down and cried and said, I, you know, people don't realize I have no life. I mean, he's really just said, I have no life. And he's just had so much fun here. It's just... Starts all over.